The vision of an artist is crucial to his or her expression, and one local woman is showing nothing will stop her from creating masterpieces. Despite now being blind, she hasn't given up on her passion, and she's creating some pretty incredible works of art. New 6 at 9's Carolina Cardona introduces us to her and shows us her technique. I don't believe and you can't. It's the I can attitude that turned Libby Smith into an artist, despite suffering from vision loss at 10 years old. I'm like the seventh, I'm seventh diagnosed case in the world who had uh, parsplenitis. And up to like eight months ago, they didn't even know what it was. They just now found out it's an um, autoimmune disease that affects the eyes. A diagnosis that hasn't faded away her talent, a gift she's enjoyed since she was a little girl. And in order to create her masterpieces, she has to get really close to the canvas, about an inch away. Every time I pull out a color, it's always a little bit different because I can't really see. Her home in Orlando is filled with her artwork. Among her favorites is one about the Mexican artist Frida Kahlo. Libby says she can relate to the struggles she endured. She had this horrible disability and nothing would stop her. Last January, she came up with a whole new concept. I created a magical being show. Each one of the magical beings painting has its own story. A series of paintings about women with wings, but Libby says it's not about fairies. I want everybody to see that every single human being, I don't care what color you are, I don't race, I don't care who you love, who your political affiliation is, it doesn't matter. Every single human being on earth is magical. This other painting is one of a woman with her wings on fire, bound and chained. Libby says it's her inner selfie. And that is what I feel like inside all the time. Your struggles. It is my struggles. Since realizing nothing could be done to prevent full vision loss, she started sculpting. This bust is in honor of her father who passed away from cancer. What I would like is other people who are blind to be able to touch my work and know that it's not over. Keep working. You could do anything. I was told by Blind Services, you can't be an artist. You can check out some of Libby's artwork right here at Barefoot Spa in Ivanhoe Village. There are currently 15 paintings on display. The owner tells us it's his way of giving back to local artists. She's just an inspiring story to what she's going through and just her art is gorgeous. I'm just in awe of what she can do if she had her own sight, if she had sight. I love what I do and I'm not quitting because I love it so much. And that's my message to people is if you love something, don't quit. Carolina Cardona, News 6 at 9. Great, she has a vision. Yes, oh, yeah. what a great message, and probably a lot of people watching need to hear that and probably feeling very inspired right now. Mm -hmm. I love that she says she wants people to touch her artwork mm -hmm. because some of it, you know, when you go into a museum, you've got your hands behind your back. Right. Not it's not normally it. like that, yeah, and that just makes it even more unique. So and she get says out and she's enjoy treating it. each one like her last because the doctors say there's nothing else they can do to help her with her sight, mm. but beautiful. Yeah, yes, beautiful every work. single piece was gorgeous. Mm -hmm.